I loved him from the time I conceived him. I knew my son was gay. And I knew that since he was very young. By age 25, Andre Isaac, an imposing six foot three, had become a popular female impersonator. They called him Sugar Bear. I had some gowns that we're gonna, I was gonna give away to, um, to Goodwill. And I had this idea in my head that I could give them to Andre. And he, he came and he picked them up. Andre Isaac was living in East New York, Brooklyn then, but he didn't make it to his mom's house for Thanksgiving 2002 after leaving his apartment days before. He just went downstairs and got into a red sports car and that was the last I ever saw him. When a male torso turned up in Far Rockaway, Queens in December 2002, dressed in a woman's skirt and bodysuit, Isaac's mother had a bad feeling. The following month, 60 miles away, she didn't know about a second discovery on the Forge River in Mariches, Long Island. Back in 2003, in January, this river was frozen, and a man who was ice skating on the river found a severed head in one of the ponds. DNA established the skull was Isaac's with a bullet hole in one temple. Isaac's mother had trouble recounting this part of the story. Okay, I'm gonna okay. faint. Okay, okay. Everything's getting Ready? dark. Okay. Kim Jordan told us she had nightmares for years about her son's gruesome death. And though it's not publicized much, Sugar Bear's case has been looked at in the hunt for the elusive Long Island serial killer known as Lisk. Do you think that he's one of the serial killer victims? Yes, I do, I always did. Some of the original Gilgo 4 discovered on Ocean Parkway in 2010 were wrapped in burlap and their bodies were intact. In 2011, a John Doe wearing women's clothing was found very close to the original four. He too was intact. But many other Gilgo victims were dismembered. Jessica Taylor in 2003 and Valerie Mack in 2000. PIX11 recently learned Suffolk County cops talked to the NYPD cold case squad after this Brooklyn man was charged with the 2005 dismemberment of his teenage neighbor, Rashawn Brazell. Brazell's body parts were found in a subway tunnel. I can't even back up the phone. Suffolk investigators eventually ruled out a connection between Brazell's case and the Long Island serial killer. We're in Far Rockaway, Queens now, and Beach 63rd Street, where Andre Isaac's torso was discovered 18 years ago, doesn't really exist anymore, and that's because there's now a waterfront housing development here. Perhaps more clues remain in East New York. Isaac's mother told us she's glad to know the FBI is involved. A lot of families, they, they turn their back on their children when they find out that they, they're, they're, um, they're gay or whatever. That's not an issue, that was never an issue for anybody in the family. All lives matter, no matter what the sexuality, religion, anything. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.